Possibly the most important matchup in the Raptors Sixers series is Kawhi Leonard versus Ben Simmons. Kawhi has raised the ceiling of the Raptors tremendously, and now they're a squad with real finals hopes. Simmons might be the most important player for Philly. In their game one loss against Brooklyn, he only had nine points and three assists. But in their next two games, he had an 18 point triple double and a 31.9 assist game in their two wins. And during the regular season, Simmons' level of play against the Raptors pretty much determined the outcome as well. The Sixers went 1-3 against Toronto this season. In their three losses, Simmons averaged just 13.5 points, 8.3 rebounds, and 9 assists, but 8 turnovers. And in their one win against Toronto, Simmons scored 26 points and had 12 rebounds, 8 assists, and only 1 turnover. The big difference was the absence of Kawhi Leonard. When Kawhi played against the Sixers this season, the Raptors went 3-0. Welcome to the Free Dawkins channel. I'm Nick Angstead, and let's break down how Kawhi Leonard defended Ben Simmons and made his life miserable doing it. According to NBA.com, Simmons played 238 total possessions against the Raptors when Kawhi Leonard played, and Kawhi was directly defending him on 115 of those possessions, so just under half. According to NBA.com's matchup data, in those possessions, Simmons scored 17 points on 7 of 15 shooting from the floor, no shots from three, obviously, had 10 assists and nine turnovers. During the regular season, Simmons averaged 9.9 .9 drives per game, but he barely ever drove against Kawhi. And when he did, he barely ever looked to score. I mean, this guy is typically the master in a numbered situation, Simmons. 14 points for Leonard. You see the shooting. And B tries to answer with a three-pointer. The few times he was able to get a shot off, it was normally because Kawhi bit on some kind of fake, which barely ever happens to work and tire down a little bit more. And when you don't have that aspect in the game, it's a little bit tough to have to guard and beat him, maybe a double team. Or he was forced to take a jump shot he wouldn't normally take. The Bucks still unbeaten at 7-0. Simmons is so much bigger than Kawhi that he should have more success against him in the post, but he hasn't really added a post up to his game yet. And by my count, he only tried a post up like four and a half times against Kawhi. These Raptors. Like century pass and Simmons goes reverse. This is the play I considered a half a post up. Simmons seals off Kawhi and gets between him and the basket. Kind of a post up and kind of just a lob. But this was the only play I found where Simmons scored off Kawhi on a drive, and it was a tough, leaning, running jumper. And the only other success Simmons had against Kawhi on drives were a couple of fouls, and this one was very suspect. Simmons attacking, denied on the play. They say foul on Kawhi Leonard. There's that play again. And I can't tell. Has Ben walked right there? Well, I'm trying to see where the contact occurred, and I thought Leonard pretty much got all ball. The rest of the time, Simmons either committed an offensive foul. Sixers all night long. Traveled. Moving him around like a chess piece. So now he's catching the ball. He's here. He's or Kawhi pressured him into a turnover. 14, 14 minutes, a much different team. Simmons in trouble. Wow, and he lost it again. And that pressure from Kawhi is what caused a lot of Simmons and the Sixers turnovers. There is Leonard, a two-time defensive player of the year. They didn't view him positionally. They viewed him as a guy who could space the floor, and you need to have that around their two young stars. With seven offensive rebounds in the quarter, dude. Very valued shot in terms of the analytics. For the Sixers with all sorts of... Especially with Jimmy Butler's not playing his best there. Wow, he was just baited in TJ McConnell. Just like to bemoan. Yeah, that's a great word. <laughs> <laughs> the Reddick throws it ahead. Simmons stolen by Leonard, his second steal. Even when Kawhi isn't guarding Simmons, it feels like he can read exactly what he wants to do. Was MVP early on in his career, then becomes a leader of the San Antonio Spurs. And that trade with the Spurs, of course, DeMar DeRozan. A lot of the time when Kawhi is guarding Simmons straight up, he just passes out of it. 30s in the NBA, you're like, I'm going to hold it off as long as possible. Although I'd kill to be 33 right <laughs> Finish before Embiid could recover. A quick pick and roll is working. The backcourt first. That's for the goaltending ball. Obviously, that leaves Simmons to play off the ball. In another breakdown video on this channel, I broke down Ben Simmons and covered what he does when he's off the ball which is basically just stand on this spot and hope for a lob or a tip opportunity. And since Simmons isn't a threat to shoot, Kawhi is able to cheat off of him and help on other players. JJ Redick again starting the second half alongside. 
And Toronto's going to need all the help they can get on Embiid. Advantage of Toronto. Embiid rolling in, got two. Beautifully done by Joel, who's got 28. But if Kawhi can get away with cheating off of Simmons as much as he did in the regular season, then the Sixers have a problem. If Philly wants to have any chance in this game. Wow. And yeah, and we're that seems to ignite their defense. Another turnover. Philadelphia, eight turnovers here in the second. And it will be. Let's see, Deadman or Embiid. That's a solid move by Don Junior. Taking Deadman. <laughs> wow, they're getting out in the passing lanes, coming up with that steal. The ironic thing with Butler is that as Chandler way outside, Butler right there, blocked by Kawhi Leonard. The claw. This guy, his length, the arm, the wingspan. My goodness. On the other end of the matchup, Simmons guarded Kawhi for 81 possessions, and Kawhi scored 27 points and only had two turnovers. That's night nice power the Sixers with a season high 21. 15 of those points. He has 26 now. They have it to a dozen. Oh, bursting in Leonard now. They're going to count that and a foul as well. Now go to work. Leonard thinking three, there it is. See the play, intentional, draw and kick to Kawhi, the nice pump fake, gets his shoulders squared, feet settled, and makes every bit of those three points count. Kawhi from the corner. Jimmy Butler goes for 16, and then Kawhi was absolutely dynamic. 21 points on 8 of 12 shooting. He's the only Raptor who hit a 3. And what you're doing defensively, Philadelphia. They're looking for us for both to be healthy enough to really get back to what they were playing at the beginning of the season. Ooh. These are limited sample sizes, but Kawhi has owned this matchup this season, and it could determine the outcome of this series. Comment below, what's the most important matchup in the Raptors vs. Sixers series? Is it Kawhi vs. Simmons? Gasol and Ibaka vs. Embiid? Jimmy Butler vs. Kawhi? Pascal Siakam vs. Simmons? Or something else? If you enjoyed this video, please join 1 million other NBA fans and subscribe to the channel for more NBA breakdowns like this and, of course, the best NBA highlights on the internet. And you can follow me on Twitter, at NickVanExit, and you can follow Dawkins, at DawkinsMTA. Thanks for watching. Boom.